All right, so we're talking cholesterol. Um, over the past week, I've had even a couple folks uh, lead uh, with the questions of presenting their cholesterol to me saying, why did my cholesterol go up when on the ketogenic diet? I'm like, that is ac actually a predictable problem. Um, so when I look at the ketogenic diet, here is um, one place that most of us started out, and that is a red blood cells. You can see those little circles in the back of that here, and you can see my little squares uh, floating along. Those are glucose. So when we start out before the ketogenic diet, we have almost all of our body filled with glucose. Uh, as you move through and add uh, too much glucose, enough that your body can't process it, uh, you're going to first fill up your storage of glycogen in your, in your liver and in your muscle cells, and then you're going to find a, uh, um, some fats floating around in your, uh, in your body as well. Those are called triglycerides, and they do float around in your system. Uh, we've talked about th this before. We've uh, said, yep, these fat chains, the word tri stands for three, three chains of fat that are held together by a couple of glucoses. Um, we look at um, times when we split those chains apart to make them into ketones, uh, and we uh, get a few little glucose molecules that come our way. Uh, one of the key things that once you have so much sugar in your body, your uh, system will transfer that energy into a more efficient storage uh, 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 substance, which is a fat. But once your body makes a fat, you cannot unwind into the glucose. You're only going to get those energy out of your body through a ketogenic state, uh, which is why shifting your chemistry before you ever look at calories is why the ketogenic diet is so important. Uh, a huge mistake I see folks make is they uh, try to count calories before their chemistry is restored. So triglycerides, they're found in your blood, but you also store them in your muscle cells and your liver cells. And when triglycerides have been around for a little while, you can take some uh, a blood vial and when you check labs, you can actually see fat floating on the top of the, uh, of the blood. Those are the triglycerides. They're actually chylomicrons. We're gonna come across those in just a few minutes. Um, but as you look at that glucose-filled um, uh, storage session, this is a liver that's filled with lots of stored glucose called glycogen. Uh, I've done this before too. Uh, this is always going to match a time when you still have lots of fatty uh, triglycerides floating through. Eventually, your body says, you know what, guys, um, our, our glucose storage is full. We've transitioned all this into um, fat in the liver or fat in the blood, and now we're gonna store some of it in the liver. We're gonna just, we need it more space to put all these extra calories uh, for the future. And eventually, if you could take a biopsy of everybody's liver who's been overweight for more than five years, you're gonna find a bunch of triglycerides in there. I contend anybody who's had insulin resistance or has elevated blood sugars, you're gonna find liver, uh, their liver has fat in it. Whether or not it's advanced to an official fatty liver or non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, meaning there's swelling in that liver, it's inflamed. Uh, hepatitis means swelling, and when there's too much fat in your liver, um, by golly, uh, it, you can see it on autopsy. So in the, in the gross anatomy lab, you'll see their liver looks fatty. It just looks like it's greasy. It's not this... Um, this, this uh, organ of vigor or of efficient metabolism, it's fat. Um, but before all that fat is in there, it's also associated with quite a bit of inflammation. So um, as we look at uh, cholesterol though, uh, when people call in and say, doc, you know, I'm on this ketogenic diet and my cholesterol went up. Uh, what I wish we could do is back up about two months before they were on the ketogenic diet and show them what their body was struggling with. So in this setting, uh, we have um, a picture of my inflamed Mr. Insulin, and I get all kinds of little hate things saying, you demonize insulin. I'm like, when insulin is too high, it does cause inflammation. It should never be as high um, as it is in most of the patients that have a high blood sugar, or even they have a normal blood sugar still, but um, they have chronic inflammation, chronic disease states. Uh, and this is you know, my mission to help reverse these diseases, um, not so much in, the, in my exam room because the education that's needed to show people how to undo their thinking is really, I mean, thank God for, for YouTube. <laughs> I have never had a classroom so big. Uh, so if you eat fat uh, in the setting of um, 
of high insulin. What I'm going to show you here is I want uh, I was hoping those would come out in layers, so you're going to have to just bear with me here that um, as you look at the setting, so here's this fatty liver, there's lots of insulin around, you eat fat, and your body has a job where it will now deliver the nutrients that you've uh, accumulated. Uh, so you put that nutrients in, it goes into your intestines. Most of that fat is absorbed, uh, excuse me, is digested into your lymph system. Your lymph system checks it out and it will be processed through your liver uh, in most cases that that fat could be used for the body. However, if that liver is full of fat and it's full of glucose storage, um, most of that will be shuffled out into the blood in a place called the chylomicron. So I don't know if you can appreciate um, that when you look at that chylomicron, it is the most red of the, of the four molecules I have up there in that cycle. So chylomicron is uh, almost all triglycerides. When I can see that lipid layer at the top of uh, the, um, the vial of blood when you've drawn blood on somebody, we know that there's a bunch of really big uh, molecules called chylomicrons, and they're filled with the fat that you just ate. Uh, the reason those are important is that you, this chylomicron is going to deliver nutrients to your body. And in the setting of high insulin, things get stopped up. And I'll tell you some things that are wrong about this slide, and like I said, each time I do this talk, it's going to get a little better. But the chylomicron is about a hundred times bigger than that LDL cholesterol that the chylomicron is really big, the VLDL is smaller, the IDL is smaller, and that LDL is, is the smallest of all of them. So the size of these goes from very large all the way down. And what's happening is throughout your, the route that your body is trying to, to off uh, this nutrients, uh, it is trying to deliver uh, VLDLs, IDL, or trying to deliver fat as nutrients to the body. Now, this is happening before you are on the ketogenic diet, so you're pulling in glucose, you're pulling in fat, usually they eat them in combination. Even if it's low fat, though, you'll still find that um, chylomicrons will be present after a meal, and they're filled with triglycerides because triglycerides are the favorite energy for muscle cells, for the cells of the body. Um, not, not your red blood cells, <laughs> the rest of the cells, but liver cells, heart cells, brain cells, um, actually, don't, don't do brain. Blood-brain barrier gets a little funky. Uh, but think of the rest of the body needing to stay alive, uh, passing around those triglycerides, making sure they have lots of storage, ready to have fat available if they need it. The chylomicron comes and delivers a bunch of that triglyceride. What you're left with is it turns into a VLDL. Well, this just means that you've gotten rid of some of the triglycerides, and then the VLDL circulates a little bit more, and it becomes an IDL, and then it becomes an LDL. So who cares about this? LDL is the other name for the bad cholesterol. Now what I know you'll, you should notice on this picture is that there's not a, 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 an arrow connecting that LDL back to the liver. It gets stuck in circulation. Uh, when that insulin is high in a person's body, it cannot recycle all the way back to the liver. And that's where the danger gets to be bad. We measure not just how much LDL was around, and that's been our test for so long, which is flawed. What we really measure is how small is the LDL, and the longer it hangs out in the blood, the more it becomes a rusty bullet. It becomes oxidized. So this little bitty LDL, we're gonna morph it into a, a bullet shaped. This is what kills people, is a very high oxidative, uh, lots of small little particles, uh, of LDL, and it's because it can't get back into your liver when the insulin is high. So we take on a ketogenic diet. They say, Doc, my cholesterol went up when I went on this ketogenic diet. So here's this liver before ketones start circulating. It's full of fat and it's full of stored glucose. It hasn't had to tap into the storage for ages because you've been eating so many carbohydrates that your insulin is high and that stops you from undoing the storage units that are found in your liver and found in your um, uh, storage, found in your muscle cells as well. So you see in this bloodstream now we've got some ketones, which means you've dropped those carbohydrates to 20 or less. 
you now have a few glucose floating around, and there's probably more than that, but for effect, it's like lesser glucose, you've got some ketones, you've still got some of those triglycerides because you're eating fat, and your liver has a huge dam built up of stored energy to get rid of. So as we kind of take on this little fatty liver, here come our, our, our rescue ketones along the way. You're on a ketogenic diet, and now we're gonna show you what does it look like when our insulin is not quite so crabby. Uh, he doesn't have a big flame around him this time. This time he has um, what I would say, he, he's in a low insulin state, and this time our cycle continues all the way around. That evolving uh, arrow still takes triglycerides and puts them in this huge chylomicron. The chylomicron goes to deliver where the fat can be delivered, and at first, your body is emptying all the stored triglycerides that you stuffed into the muscle cell, that you stuffed into the, to the heart cells, to the, to the skin cell, you know, all the places where you, you have a mitochondria. Um, you are now burning that because the glucose first got emptied, um, but there's still a lot of extra fat hanging out that is, has not been recycled. So the key component to what happens when you finally lower insulin, which is why when you hear me coach people on the ketogenic diet, phase one is to never look at calories, look only at fat, keeping a high fat content and measuring your ketones. The ketogenic diet isn't a way of eating as much as it is a state of chemistry. When you want this process to continue, people say, I've been on the ketogenic diet for two years. What I wanna know if that's you, is have you been proving there are ketones in circulation? And even if those ketones are just a urinary ketone stick that's positive, that's okay, it's a cheap way to do it. Uh, the, pro the process when you check a blood monitor is a higher uh, accuracy, a more precise measuring tool, um, but it's also more expensive and there's a lot of people that are kind of afraid to poke their finger. So. Uh, when I look, I'm just going to um, take a moment to really appreciate that this liver still has a lot of fat in it from what happened before you entered the ketogenic diet. And in this, uh, in this recycling, uh, there is still a lot of extra fat that needs moved to the places where it can finally get uh, um, less uh, of the dangerous LDL cholesterol in circulation, which is that oxidized, really old... <laughs> LDL cholesterol, it's very tiny now, especially if you've had insulin resistant for years and years. Um, but if you're just looking at total cholesterol, you're gonna see a huge increase. I mean, many times it is quite an increase if you measure it in the first couple of weeks of being on the ketogenic diet. I tell patients, high cholesterol doesn't kill you uh, for, uh, I mean, especially that LDL cholesterol is what you're mostly looking at. When you're on the ketogenic diet, I need you dialing in that you're the truly in ketosis and that you shouldn't look at that cholesterol for months. Uh, in my clinic, I don't, I do something else, which is what we're gonna get to here. So at the onset of the ketogenic diet, once again, we've got that insulin who's nice and he doesn't have a big flame around him. He's much lower than he has been. We're proving that there's ketones floating around. The first few weeks uh, of a ketogenic diet, we are really emptying the stored glucose in that, in that liver. And if you're one of the folks that have written in over the last couple of weeks saying, Dr. Bosworth, my glucose is so high in the morning, I haven't eaten anything in 12 hours. Why is my sugar so high? It gives me a clue that you still have plenty of storage in that liver, that you have had your liver do such a good job of removing uh, glucose from circulation and putting it in the package called glycogen that morning fasting sugars that are, are high give us a hint that your system still has lots of stored glucose floating around. And before we can empty the fat, we gotta get the glucose emptied. So this is, this is a long game. This is kind of changed behavior that doesn't show up for a week, but really is a cycling process that becomes better the longer you stay consistently keto. So as we look at that little liver, after about 12 weeks, you can see most of that glycogen is gone now. The stored glucose, which is the easiest to get rid of, is now not really abundant in most people's liver. You'll have some folks where they kind of fall in and out of ketosis that quickly that glycogen will store back up. They're used to lots of glycogen. 
Um, but if you stay consistently keto for 12 weeks, most people's glycogen in their liver has returned to a rather normal level, or at least much better than when we started. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Stay tuned.